Yo, what's up everyone? It's your boy, Dark King here. Today we are back for another episode of our Fossil Fighters Let's Play. The last episode, you guys, I think we completed a mission for the dig team where we invited Rupert and then we had a cup battle. Um, I think that was, I think that was what we did. So in today's episode, we have a new area to explore called Ice Grip Plateau. Um, and I think there's, they said there's a lot of like ancient fossils. I mean, they're all ancient, but I'm guessing it'll be like mammoth. Oh, we already got some story, boys. We already got some story. Ooh, what is this? Oh, Holly's practicing. Hello, Digga Dig. It's very chilly here, isn't it? Take care, Digga. I have to catch a cold. Oh, Digga Dig. Practicing like this isn't helping me at all, Digga. Mm Gah! You were spying on me, weren't you, Dark? <laughs> if I just nod. So yeah, bro. Wait, what? You also spied on me back at Hotspring Heights? Y you, you're a terrible person, you know that? You don't spy on people when they're embarrassing themselves, and you especially don't do it twice. Bro, we don't hate. I'm sorry, I guess it's not really your fault. So, um, I guess you want to know what I was doing just now, huh? Nani. Well, I'll tell you, Dark, but only because it's you. I was practicing how to talk to people. Oh, I admit it, I'm a fraud. I act boastful and snobby, but I'm actually totally shy and terrified. I can't even talk to people. I get all nervous and jittery, and then everything just falls apart. Whenever I meet someone I don't know, my face gets red and my tongue starts tripping on itself. Anyway, the only way I can get around is by wearing this mask. It's a magical mask that it gives whoever wears it a cheerful, sunny personality. It's one of my village's greatest treasures. It probably doesn't, it just hides your face so you're less self-conscious. Whatever. And yet, I want nothing more than to be free of this mask forever. I want to talk with my own voice and see with my own eyes. But, but I'm too scared to do it. That's why I was practicing. So, um, what do you think, Dark? Will I ever be able to take this mask off? Hell yeah, Shadi. Really? You, you think so? Hey, it's kind of funny. But when you said that, I actually felt a little more brave. I'm glad. I'm gonna keep trying, and I have to fight with everything I have. Before the cup ends, I'm gonna take off this mask for good. I swear, Dark, I'm not gonna let myself fail. Just, if you can cheer me on when I do it, okay? I got you. I got you, buddy. Be friends. <clears throat> I'm glad it was you who saw me, Dark. I think I would have died if it was anyone else. So I should probably find some place even more secret to practice on. See you, Dark. And thanks for listening. Bye bye. Wait, so did she construct this? Like, did she make this? Like, with something? Wait, where did we enter? Oh, whoops. Let's, let me just speed that up real quick. <laughs> Alright, I like the music for this for Ice Grip Plateau. Is it right here? Indeed it is. We got a new water type. Look at all these, look at all these fossils. Oh, there's, there's one behind us, too. This will be a lot of between episode thinking for me. That's one right here. Hey, we got that. And there's right, right here. And we got Dark Fossil Rock. Cool. I actually don't like Dark Fossil Rocks. They're, like, kind of cool for, like, when it's, um... For points, but like I don't like it. I don't like digging them out. I like knowing where the bone is and just building around that. It's just so much more simple. Oh my god, it's this dude. I forgot his voice. I don't know what it is. Don't hate me. <clears throat> Zzz, mm, snuffle snort. Mm, a roaring fire in a snuggly blanket. Wait, no. He's like an old. Is he British though? No, he's not. He's just old. Fresh hot chips and pickled kippers. Yes, quite. Oh, I always, like, it morphs into British when I do an old guy voice. Hey, Dark. Wait, someone behind me. Oh, it's Todd. Bro, it's really cold. I bet if you fell asleep here, you'd never wake up. <laughs> Holy cow, someone did fall asleep here. Come on, Dark, we have to wake this cold eye up, this old guy up before something terrible happens. Oh my, oh my god. Boy, how you jump five feet in the air? Boggle, boggle, hug. Oh, what? Good heavens. I knew that I'd fallen asleep. How terribly careless of me. And what? What do you say? And what? <laughs> By my stars, if it isn't dark, I appear to be in your debt yet again, my young rescuer. And you are a friend of Dark, I presume? Yep, yeah, I'm Todd. Nice to meet you. Well met, old bean. I am Professor Niggle Scatteredly. Niggle Scatteredly. Okay. Curator of the Castillo Steel Museum, some shit. I've dedicated my entire life to studying the history of these islands. I say, I have a capital idea. She's a quaint young toddy with the history of the Gilios Labyrinths. 
Um, actually, you don't really have to. Ahem, <clears throat> yes, well, in the long distant past of long ago, Kingless City was... Okay, I don't want to read. Oh, they skipped it for us? Thank you. I appreciate that, game developers. I don't want to hear that. And that is everything we know so far. Yes, quite. <laughs> oh, that was like sitting through history class. That's the point. But hold, there's more for you. See, I've discovered yet another... Kaleo slab at this very spot. Without further ado, please allow both of me to transfer it for you. Translate it for you. My bad. Can't do some voice acting. It's right now. Ah, this is slab at number two. Could stay hidden forever, you cheeky little artifact. Now could you? Guess well. Now then. All right, what does this one say? Zanga Zanga's immortality spell unleashed a great and terrible power. With this magic, he could force his own skull into the head of another, thereby assuming his very being. Oh wow. By taking over new bodies, as his current one aged, Zanga Zanga showed himself of eternal life. The unfortunate victim chosen to give in his body to Zanga Zanga was known as a majestic vessel. Bro, I knew it! To be chosen as a majestic vessel was a fate worth a death, and the people feared it above all else. Good heavens, it seems Zanga Zanga was nothing more than a common body magical thief. Magical body thief. If there's anything common about that, and what I'm worried about. I say this is quite fascinating, don't you think? What did the people of ancient times endure Zonka Zonka's rule across countless generations? I mean, if he's stealing bodies, then they kind of have to. Okay. Or perhaps they were clever enough to confront and defeat this terror. By my knickers. But this gnaws at me. I must know what happened to those poor people. Beep, 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 beep. Incoming FMS message. How do they apart? It's me, Joe. I'm afraid we got a problem on our hands. I need the patrol team to get to mount up and gather in my suite immediately. Oh, damn. Joe's not a word. We better get over there right away. Achoo! Okay, you're sneezing. Such a weird sound effect. Eric, my head hurts and I'm freezing. Sweet fish and chips. This lad is running a dangerously high fever. Not to worry, Dark. I'll see to it that your friend is up and full of beans again in no time. Wait, bro, it's been two seconds! Just put on a coat, my guy. So, sorry, Dark. I don't think I'm gonna make it to see Joe. You got it, Chief. Bye-bye. I'm gonna keep digging. Joe's a little, a little, a little bad word because he doesn't remember us. Oh, is that, that was a drawback. Oh, I actually really like this music. It's really good. Okay, the Zonka Zonka story is interesting, and I kind of like it, but it's really predictable. Like, it's called Majestic Vessel. Like, what? I'm pretty sure I guessed that in the last episode where we're on the other island. Where we, where we found the other, um, slablet. That, like, the Majestic Vessel, he, like, took it over. And then, the current captain of the Bare Bones Brigade is, like, Zonga Zonga. Or they, like, work for Zonga Zonga because they want the islands back. Bro, I'm gonna be right about all this, and I'm gonna be so satisfied. Literally every single one of these fossils has been new. That's amazing, and I love it. Okay. Boom. Oh, we still have kind of that pay to dig site in um, Treasure Lake. I should do that. Just to fill out the five assort decks. Whatever. I know it doesn't have a name, but. Well, I, made, I made up a name because this game is Pokemon, but with dinosaurs and shit. Alright. Um, nom 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 nom. Okay, we found another new water fossil. Oh, wait. Of course, every one of these is going to be new because even if they're the same fossil, it's still new because I haven't. Excavated it yet? Alright. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Some of the fossils I have are from this thing. So got another dark fossil rock. I'm guessing that big dark fossil rock is also like a new one because we haven't like found another big fossil rock here yet. Okay. Anything over here? Indeed, there is not. Alright, I think I want to explore. Th oh, wait. Right, right here. Yeah, we got a drawer. There was like an entrance into somewhere. Yes, there was. It's a little cave. We got we got a cave on our hands, boys. Ice grip plateau. Oh, it's still ice grip plateau. Oh, wait, can we can we walk up here? No. Right. Okay. Over here. That was really far away. How how did I get how did I get reach that? Oh, I like the 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 whole animation. Hey, we got we got money. We got money for that. I like this area. Oh, it reminds me of um in the last game. There's like a volcano dig area. I mean, similar to this one. But you could like drain the lava, and it looks very similar to this. 
I think they used a similar um, patterning style. Oh, you can come up here. Cool. Because it's like the kind of raised area and the, the lower ones where the lava is supposed to be. It kind of seems like it'd be water here. Or you can just fall off that. Oh, there's... Is that... Yeah, that goes somewhere too. Is there any, is, are there any more fossils? I do, I do not think so. Okay, let's go into this back area. Oops. Eh, let me get up here. I'm gonna run mad quick. Oh wait, can we knock it in here? Oh, is that a wall? Oh wow. Okay. Let's um, uh, turn to town and go. Let's go ahead and jump, boys. Pauline's gonna be there too. Mm. Pauline, cutie. Okay, so we have two dig sites on each island. I'm still means there's like three more rounds of the cup. I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the helicopter, the helipad is new because you have to go to the other island to get the new dig site. Okay. I I don't know why it took me so long to figure that out, but it did. Down, out, down. Alright. What's good, Joe? Oh, wow, where's Tower? <laughs> Pauline's already here! And she has to be. I just can't really wait for her. She's really a protagonist. Thanks for coming, Dark. Now we just gotta wait for Todd and explain, explain, protagonist, explain, because I can't talk. What's that? Poor fella when it comes up cold, now don't you? That just beat all. Alright. Well, then I reckon this is all the patrol team we're gonna have today. Actually, Rupert should be here too. Wait. Anyway, what's this about, Joe? You said it was serious. Wait, I thought Rupert didn't join. Because, whatever. Keep this under your hat, but some vermin went and stole our super electro. Manix? What is that? S super electro mina. It's our extremely rare fossil that put out a perpetuous amount of energy. In fact, the entire fossil park rot runs on just three super electro minas. Anyway, a little while ago, three intruders busted, busted into all the park's fighter stations and went straight to the generator rooms and made off with the super electro minions. We're running on regular electro minions right now, but I reckon them boys ain't gonna last much longer. What, what happened to them? Nothing good, I'm afraid. Lights will go out, auto doors won't open, KL33N and all the VBMs will fail. VMMs. Uh, we'll, we'll pretty much be sitting in the dark, I reckon. Forget about cleaning or reviving your fossil rocks. Oh, you can't be having that. That's terrible. Wait, no. <laughs> it's Pauline. That's terrible. It would be the end of the entire Castelia Fossil Park. Yes, it would, Pauline. You, you got it. I know. That's why we gotta recover them super electro... electro minats as soon as possible. I heard rumors that the culprits are hiding out at... at one of the dicks... Oh, uh, one of the dicks are... I sent Stella, Terry, and Kent out to try and track him down, but I'm hoping y'all can join the search. Of course, I won't stand by while a bunch of jerks shut down this park. Does, it does my hard good to hear that little lady. Anyway, I'd like you to search out at Ice Grip Plateau. Good luck, y'all. Let's head to Ice Grip Plateau. Oh, Pauline joined us. Oh my god. Actually, I like Pauline. She's cool. I like her character. I like Rupert's character now. Todd. I'll never like Todd. He's not complex at all. He, 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 he's just annoying. He's the noise. He's the noise. Me. <gasps> Rupert, what's good, my guy? What? I told you I wanted nothing to do with your people. Now, if you excuse me, protagonist, explain because you can't talk. Help you. I'm sorry. What part of leaving me alone was confusing to you? Listen, Rupert. Someone stole the super electro, elect. I want to say electro dynamite, electro minites that power this park. If you don't get them back, they won't be able to clean or revive their fossil rocks. Joe asked Dark and me to search an ice cream plateau, so that's where we're headed. Come on, Rupert, we need your help. This is none of my concern. Excuse me. Yes, it is. What do you mean, bro? You need the park to keep running. You say that, but I know it's a lie. Deep down, you love battling Rupert. I know you do. And you'd be heartbroken if they canceled the cup. It's time to be honest about your feelings. It's time to show some backbone and stop being your father's puppet. Damn. He just ran away. I can't believe I told him to show some backbone. I'm not even brave enough to take this stupid mask off. I don't have the right to yell at anyone. Well, this is no time to sit around feeling sorry for myself. We've got to get to Ice Cup and Toe. I'm going ahead. I'll see you there. See, this is why I like these characters, bro. They have human interactions. They get mad. They get happy. 
they have their insecurities, they have non, they have relationships, they have complex relationships. Bro, these characters are valid. I love this, I love these games. I think, I think I like this game more than, more than the first one. The characters are much more dynamic. Well, I guess not all of them. The, 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 your friends are much more dynamic. I don't know about the villains. Because the villains in the other game are, um, very cool. I would advise it to be played. Alright, Ice Girl Plateau. I think we're just gonna go straight back. Oh yeah, there's probably... Okay, I'm not gonna get any fossil rocks for this. Story top! <laughs> Alright, where's the, where's the thingy? Where's the, where's the other ice bridge? Oh. It's here and then, yeah. Right here. Hey, Pauline! There you are, Dark. There's some creepy people up here, so we should probably go together. Okay. Pauline joined you. Wait. Oh. Okay, are you prepared for battle? Hell yeah! I like that little, are you prepared for battle? Because it's not like asking you. It's not like you have to click A on them. It's a natural part of the story that you battle them. That's like a sinister feeling. Like, you kind of know. We finally see your face. Oh hey, you made it cool. I kind of thought you'd be here sooner, but yeah. Yeah, like this is a pretty big deal, and also expect someone to find us sooner. You're with the Bare Bones Brigade. Totally. Although actually, I'm one of the two Bare Bones Brigade commanders. <laughs> I'm the groovy chick, Lola. I also like her. She's cool. The, bro, the other commanders are so annoying, though. So, did you dig my plan to steal the super electromites? Because I thought it was totally wicked. Bro, she has bubblegum. What a badass. See, because if you can't clean or revive, then, like, there's nothing to go about the cup, man. It's gonna totally harsh the metal of every fight in this park, man. I can't wait. You won't get away with this hippie. Give back the super electro. Damn, she called her a hippie. Call her a hippie? What the? Bro, that's... that's... No. Yeah, but no. I don't think you were listening to me. Remember the part where I said, like, remember where I, like, said I wanted the fighters to be all sad about the cup? So then I'm probably not gonna give the Super Electro Mites back. Electro Mites. Fine then, we'll just settle this with Fossil Battle. Oh man, that's, like, too funny. What if she just, like, walked away? She was like, nah, I'm good. Ooh, she just snapped. Well, well. Wait. Is he the posh British dude? No. He's not. Well, well, if it isn't the fighter who ruined my awesome plan. Very excited to see you again, kiddo. You have no idea. Wait, no. The other dude's the posh one. Gar har har. I'm gonna thrash you for what you did to me at Mount Krakenak. Uh oh, I don't know if we can take all three of these creeps, Dark. We've won bef- Wait, we've won before it's even begun. Oh man, that's like- That like rhymed. Cool. No, it didn't. Wait, it looks like all three BB game commanders have a terminal case of overconfidence. Ding! Is this Joe? It's Rupert! My boy! Rupert is my boy now! I love him! Okay, anyway, I definitely just blew up my mic. <laughs> Rupert, but, but why? <laughs> I'm so happy. Because you were right. Because I need to start being more honest with myself. I like this cup, and I'm looking forward to facing Dark in a fossil battle. So I decided I would be most disappointed if it was cancelled. Rupert, you're the best! Yeah, boy! Ha! Now it's three on three, losers. Man, this is... Totally like annoying. Cole, Lester, it's time to take out these the recycling man. With pleasure. Yo. <laughs> Who just says yo like that? Like yo. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Nani? Bro, why is everyone rank four? I don't understand. But they're all like super revived, so. Um You got a B Jara. Used to last for you. Super effective on wind. I go. Um, should I switch them out? Maybe. Do I need arrows though? Like, cause hmm. arrows isn't really doing anything. Oh, his attack's a little lower. Actually, no. I'm gonna keep arrows, cause arrows is the attacks that like take up less FP. Okay. Um. What formation is he gonna go? You're definitely going in the back. Oh, that's a lot of setup. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Like I'm doing. Oh, they did two in the front, okay. 
Oh, her Whoa, she's so cool. Oh my god. Okay, we go first, though. Slippery ice. Actually, that's fine. Because I can do this. Down, down. Here. He lived! Ow. Avoided poison, too. Do I need to switch? I don't. I. I. I no, I'm gonna keep the last on the back, and then I'm gonna put uh, Nago on the back. Yo, you got slippery ice too, boy. Oh my god, that's so much support effect. Jesus. Why would you do something? Here? What? Oh, that's why. Ooh, he stole it all. Okay, you're dead. You're dead. Oh my god. Oh, now I have less FP to work with. Am I? Is it still? Actually, yeah. It's fine. It's not. It's not the star, but you're gonna die. You have eight health. Um. Okay, no, no, no. You did. That's a deal with slippery ice. Um. I'm just gonna end my turn. Cause I don't want to waste FP rotating. I don't know what's gonna be next. Uh, why does Naga have to get an attack? Because it's annoying. It's annoying. Okay. Bodhi Charm! Well, at least I'm out of this range, so. That's good. Um. Okay, Slippery Ice. Why? Okay. I thought Naga was gonna go, like, straight in the front. Back. Probably actually no. I was gonna say I'll probably die in one hit, but probably not. It's like 200 health. Yeah. 182. Ah. I feel like I almost shot. Like I almost one shot every turn, but I'm always so far away. Why would? Why? I don't understand. You're in such a bad spot. Like, why would you? The neutral one's definitely long range, so why would you attack with that? With the last one, probably do more damage. Oh my god. Okay, you're gonna die anyway. I'm not gonna move here. I'm not gonna move this one. That guy's the most health anyway. Okay. What are you gonna do? Oh, this actually might be good for me, because I might move Naga to the back automatically. Glasso dead. Glasso's livid. What a what a champ. What a champ. Okay, we got slippery ice. Perfect. Oh my god. Thank you. I I, I appreciate that. Oh wait. Actually. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put arrows. Oh no! Wait. I think that gives me the five back. Okay, it does. Okay. You're dead. I don't need to strategize no longer. The lasso was defeated. Oh, you, you, you. Uh, uh. -uh. You're ready to get rocks. You know it. Yeah. We, we, we hit him with an earthquake. Get out of here, boy. Okay, we got 15 points for that. That's lit. <laughs> Ooh, Aeros is ranked 13. I feel like some other people are gonna rank up too. I got ranked up. Lambio ranked up. Goddamn. Crypto ranked up. I literally never use crypto. Did the lasso rank up too? No. Damn, we beat him, bro. This is a total bummer, man. God, oh, this losing is really starting to crap my style. I'm so angry. Not, bro, I always get his name up. Alright, chumps, hand over the super electro my knights. What if they just like didn't do it? Oh shit, bro. Uh oh. Ah! Oh man, like what was that? I don't know, but I it don't feel right. Yeah, he's the rocker, dude. Oh, we got another cutscene. What, what is that? Oh wait, he's the British dude. Is that a whale? What? 
Did we just get eaten? Where are we? Honey. What the? F well, we were at Ice Cream Plateau, and then there was that huge wave. And oh no, we were swallowed by a whale. Wah, we're gonna be digested. I don't wanna be whale food. I'm too beautiful. Wah. Still have a fish and call me rough it. I come over to investigate all this back and then I find come. Poor you. What? Oh, um, hello. Do you live here? He's like Jesus, bro. This is Jesus. I don't have a Jesus voice. How do you have a Jesus voice? The name's, the name's Rob. The name's Robinson. And it's a right pleasure to meet ya. This whale's called the B Bone Hemoth. See, and he likes to chew on ice cubes. So there I was, doing a bit of fishing on an ice float. Then he swims up, cool as you please. They can have a fish up swallowing me in one bite. That was near 10 years ago. <laughs> Give or take. He's just still alive, bro. You've been here for 10 years by yourself? Bro, you'd be mentally insane. Nah, I ain't by myself. I know me for me and friend. See? Let me introduce you folks to my best friend in the whole wide world. The whole wide world. Balaver. What is... Now, Balaver, where are your manners? Go on and say hello to these nice folks now. Uh-huh, yeah, I know. It's gonna be... Wait, no, I don't want you to be... Southern. Uh-huh, yeah, I know. It's gonna be a lot louder with these folks around. Well, Balaver, that's good to hear. I'm happy to have company myself. Psst, there's just a ball with a face shot on it. Yeah, we know. That's why he's... That's why he's mentally insane. Oh, wait, shit. Perhaps his loneliness was so great, he'll need to invent a friend. Probably. Oh, look at me flapping my gums while you stand there ankle deep in chum. You folks should wander around, see the sights, get acquainted with your new home. This here behemoth swallows all kinds of stuff, so if you want it, you can probably find it. In fact, take a look over yonder. Oh my gosh. Wait, is that the other? Wait, what? Wait, can we just teleport back? Why can't we teleport back? Aw, oh, nuts. The teleporter is broken, but you can still switch dino metals in and out, so that's something. KL33N, hello, beep. I was I was swallowed along with this rash sheet glue. Even this terrible place, I can help with all your cleaning needs. Wait, wait, can we rest fossils? Probably not. Robinson, is there any way to escape from this place? We have giant dinosaurs! They can just eat it! Eat him! Escape, fish guts! Why would you go and do a thing like that? Well, if you're serious, I suppose I can take you up to Lord Tonzilla. He's what you might call the supreme ruler of this place. He's at the top of the food chain and the top of Bohemia's digestive tract. Okay. I don't... Okay. Um, alright. If you folks could defeat Lord Tonzilla, you might be able to leave this place. But I can't imagine why you'd want to do such a thing. And neither can Balabar. Balabar. Okay, bye, buddy. Okay, I don't care what the crazy man thinks. You have to beat Lord Tonzilla and get out of here. I hate to play the optimist, but at least we can excavate clean and revive fossil racks down here. Yes, well, we should split up and prepare ourselves. Let's meet again at Bohemia's digestive track. Okay, that was so unexpected. Are there fossil wrecks here? No. Okay. Why is there a... Oh, we can't just leave. Okay, cool. Anyway, that's gonna be it for today's episode. Um, we got swallowed by a whale. <laughs> Fought some BB people. But, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's okay. It, uh, whatever. See you on the next one. Peace.